Hello everybody and welcome back to the last plague. The last plague. Run away. Okay. Anyway, uh, so we did find a bunch of copper ore pieces. So today we're going to be talking about doing some more smelting and also dealing with all these guys. Now, <clears throat> to get some bronze, which is what we're doing, tin bronze, we need to mix in uh, copper and tin. Now, you're going to notice that just like when we cook, when we smelt, we're also going to get a quality value. So this has a lot of bronze in it for the copper that we have. It'll still make bronze, but it's going to be very poor quality. And when we make stuff with this very poor quality bronze, it will also affect what we're making. So for example, when we make a saw blade with this. It's going to also be a very poor quality saw because it's made from very poor quality bronze. But it's telling us we don't have enough copper. That's fine. Let's add some more copper. This is poor quality bronze instead of very poor. This is flawed. This is good. Now, you can technically get a little bit less out of this. If we do this, it's still 500 mils, but you put in less tin. And if I remember correctly, yeah, it's, so it's five. So 40 and five gives you very uh, good quality bronze with 500 mils as the uh, the amount you're going to get out of okay so um what are we going to be making with this well we're going to be making some uh oh it's also important to know this does have a thousand dollar or a thousand dollar a thousand mil limit so you can't just go crazy and put a bunch of stuff in here and expect this to still have enough space to hold it so keep that in mind if you put too much in here you will lose some of that bronze now <clears throat> we have some um some forms that we put up the saw blade form we have some nail forms and we have some ingot molds now the ingot molds i'm probably not going to use but what i am going to probably be using is these uh nail molds and this saw blade mold as of right now the ingot mold all it's good for is to just store your bronze if you're smelting a large quantity but you have to have a minimum of 800 mils it does not produce one ingot it produces four ingots every single time it is the minimum you can do so we're going to be placing this saw blade mold. I'm going to place it right here. Okay. That itself needs 500 mils. Okay. And then we have, I should have made five. I forgot to make five. That was my bad. So we do have the nail molds. So I'm actually, do we have, we don't have any more. That's unfortunate because that's going to mean that we're going to get some crappy bronze out of it kind of sucks place I'll just place this like this and place so I think we needed 35 so I gotta make 10 more clay bricks and but yeah so basically now that you have these this setup and I can technically go and do that and that and you get a thousand out of it so it take 43 minutes to smelt that's important and it has to reach at least 900 degrees which with charcoal it will reach that mount anyway let's uh let's put this back here it's gonna be our space for that and i am gonna go ahead and grab more clay and make myself another one of these nail molds and then when all that is processed and make some more of these clay bricks while i'm doing that i'm probably going to finish building this up and do a couple other things around the camp <clears throat> and then i'll come back once i have the other clay mold that way we can actually start doing all the smelting we need especially with the saw blade mold and stuff like that okay so i'll see you then all righty and we are back i did get the clay and i did fire up the clay forms but honestly, I think that I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to take the uh, the loss and I'm going to show you guys what happens if you don't have enough clay forms and what happens to your uh, bronze if you let it sit in there. So I'm going to go ahead and fire this up. I already put enough in there to give me 50 minutes. It's going to take 43 minutes to do this. It's important that when you fire this up, you wait until the temperature goes up and you hit smelt. If you don't do that, if you don't hit smelt, you're just going to waste your fuel. Remember to hit smelt. So, I'm going to ignite it. 
with a ginormous piece of flint because that's all I have. All right, and smell. Now, obviously, don't go too far away. You want to be here when this is done because if not, you will mess up your bronze. So, while this is going, I'm going to work on doing stuff with the house, getting some firewood ready, that kind of stuff. So, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get this fire set up. I don't need more firewood anyway, so let's just grab this thick log here, put it down, cut it up into firewood. And... Add into there. Let's do the same thing with this one. Okay. Remember, that's not 43 in-game, or uh, real-life minutes. That's 43 in-game minutes. They go much faster than you think. All right. Now we got a bunch of firewood. We have almost everything set up for this. And let's go ahead and ignite it. We'll process some water while this is working. All right. Put that in my hand. I'll just get some more river water. I don't know if this is going to be enough. This is not enough. Let's go get some more river water. I did add some bone, more bone meal to the uh, to the plants, so most of them are un under medium fertilization now. It's colliding with oh, it's colliding with the build volume at the top. All right, let's go ahead and fill. All right, and let's boil it up. It's gonna take an hour and a half. I got 20 minutes here. Let's go ahead and eat real quick. By the way, you don't need a bot or a bowl to drink. If you just pick this up and you right click, hit drink, it will drink from here as well. Now, something I forgot to mention to. No, 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 don't do that. Ooh, that was almost very bad. I did forget to mention there are other forms of tea, not just chamomile tea. You can make tea with uh, golden seed, golden seal roots. The thing with this is that you have to smash the plants first. So you have to crush them. And now that they're crushed, this way you can make a tea out of it. And uh, you can also make it out of valerian root. Uh, golden seal, I believe, gives you stamina. And valerian root, I forgot what valerian root does. Hmm. But one of them gives you stamina, which is the one that you, you know, you're mostly going to be looking after. Let's go ahead and eat all these. And eat all these. What are we doing here? Nine minutes. I don't have to wait for the thing. Okay, we got two minutes left. And then what did I want the large piece of flint for? Because we are going to make a chisel wood. So we're going to go ahead and hammer that into place. And that's going to give us a chisel. And another piece of flint. That's just what we're going to use to make lids and a couple of other things. <coughs> so we definitely want that. All right, how much we got? Uh, and that clay crucible is hot and good to go. So we're going to go ahead and grab this here. Let's make our saw blade first. So we're going to empty here. And that's going to need some time to harden. And we're going to empty here. And into that. Into that, and that should give me, I believe, 100 mils left. Yep. And since I wanted to show you guys what happens if you don't have enough space, what happens? I'm going to put this back in here, and I'm just going to let it harden in here. All right. Now this is boiling. Let's go grab some of these logs here. Process them into more firewood. What's that over there? Is that a deer? I do need to hunt down some food, so if there's a deer nearby, I might have to spear it. Yep, that is a deer. I 
energy is in a spirit and let it be and hopefully it will come back oops i did not mean to grab the jars you have to be careful the auto the auto grab will grab everything on the ground so Good thing these guys don't have anything in it that I'm worried about grabbing. So, is this hardened yet? Yep, it's hardened. So now, because I didn't use this and it was allowed to harden either in a mold or in a crucible or whatever, you're going to get hardened bronze. But you notice there's only 94 grams. That's going to turn into 94 mils. So this will not be enough to use. I did lose a little bit of it. And that's why you don't want to actually let this stuff harden in there. Is that the same, um, same deer? Nah, it hit the tree. Unfortunate. Go over here and grab my spear. But yeah, now that we've done that, we should have a saw blade. Bronze saw blade. And we'll have some nails. I'm not going to pick up the nails because they occupy quite a bit of space. Now, the bronze saw blade, whenever you craft one of these things, both saw blades in bronze or in iron or whatever, they're not going to have their full durability. And that's by design, right? When you cast or, or smelt or... or um, forge something, it doesn't have its full durability, or it doesn't have its full sharpness, right? So we're going to have to bring that sharpness out. We're also going to have to bring out a handle. And the way to make that handle is, so if we have craft here, a handle, we click on the handle, uh, we need a stick. So let's go grab a stick. Just going to grab one, craft and into a saw handle and then we're going to combine these two together actually i don't know let me check something i wonder if you can repair it before Let's see oh you can let me repair all my tools and stuff and repair all right and now that saw is just that little bit sharper we can combine these two into a handsaw. All right, and now we have a handsaw. It occupies way less space if you put it on your belt, so keep it on your belt if you can. And then since this is going to be hardened material, I'm not going to keep it on me. What else can I put away? Put my sandstone chunk away. All right. And I'm going to put this away, and the reason... I just dropped that on the ground. Oopsie. No. Okay. Now let's uh, go ahead and grab this. We're going to empty it into here. And I'm going to leave this space open for now because I'm probably going to have to cook some food very, very shortly. Um, let's see if I can't spot a rabbit down here. I oh, am. Yeah. So, that's going to be our metalworking. So, you can do this with that. You can also uh, process copper by itself. You don't necessarily need um, to process straight bronze, but there's a much more limited set of things that you can do with just copper in this game at least. So keep that in mind. Um, that's going to be metalworking. I am going to go ahead and we have nails now. We have the things to make saws. So I'm actually going to show you. Let's actually do that right now. Here, Let's cut down a, another tree because we're going to need to cut it down anyway. Actually, I'm going to keep that tree. I want to keep that tree. Let's do one of these smaller ones. They take a lot less time to cut down. Getting very thirsty. You're getting very thirsty. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up and drink from this. 
What does that say? It's got blight. Why? What happened here? Oh, there's river water in there. How did I manage to do that? Oh, no. Well, that's not good. I managed to put river water in my clean water. Boop. Yep. Well, well. Guess I'm boiling that off. It's only going to take two minutes because there's not that much river water in it, quote unquote. So let's do that really, really quick. Right. Now we have something to drink that's nice and clean. Recall. Okay. Now, obviously, I don't want to put this back in there, so I'm going to fill these guys since they're nice and clean. That was a bit of an oopsie. Only one minute, so we can put all this stuff back. All right. But let's go ahead and cut a tree. Like I was going to do originally. Where it starts getting too dark. Now this tool is starting to see some uh, some issues. And because it's seeing some issues, it's taking much, much longer to cut trees down as well. All right. Now... I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to chop it. I'm going to take out my saw. And look, now we can saw this. Go ahead and saw that. All right. And now we have a bunch of materials. We got a bunch of planks. Now, go ahead and pick these up. Planks require a lot of space. Keep that in mind. Especially if you're picking up a bunch of crap that you don't want to be picking up at the same time. I'm going to start a stockpile here. Okay, and we got short planks as well. Now, at the moment, I want the short planks. And the reason I want the short planks is we're going to grab that chisel that we were talking about. All right. And what else do I need? I need a boot. It should be, just be the chisel. So we're going to go ahead and craft and look for a lid. Wooden stopper. Okay. I'm going to make two of these, and that's going to require that chisel. That's why we were talking about the chisel. Right. And two. Now, why do I want this wooden stopper? What's so great about the wooden stopper? Well, what's so great about the wooden stopper is if I grab this clay jar right now and I put this on top, now it has a quote-unquote inventory and I can take this jar and put it right here and that will not spill that water isn't that amazing I'm going to grab this other jar and we'll put a stopper on it too and <clears throat> yeah so this now becomes a situation of me being able to store uh, fluids without them going anywhere so this jar will continue to have water and if I remember correctly it does slow down the um, the evaporation of the water. So, I'm going to go ahead and place this down too. And go ahead and grab this and pour it out. Uh, the big jugs, you can't put stoppers on it, unfortunately. That would be kind of cool, but you can't. Uh, into the empty one, please. Now, I... Don't get too close yet. Don't get too close yet. Moving like that, I'm going to hit it. Oh, I missed. See, they do this thing where they walk just fast enough to be away from you so that you can't catch them to spear them again once they run away. It's one. I'm going to the light. This is dangerous. I shouldn't be out here at this time. Where'd he go? Am I blind? What? 
Where'd he go? Uh, game? Hello? I guess he just disappeared. Well, that's fun. It's unfortunate because my guy's hungry. All I needed was another spear hit. Is that a wolf? And that's a wolf. Or is that a coyote? It's a wolf. Damn it. The wolves are kind of a pain in the butt to fight. They are very, very strong and they have a decent amount of hit points. So. so they will run away if you hit them without them knowing where they're getting hit from. And it's kind of your only saving grace to try to fight them. I believe they need four spear attacks. Yeah, they need four. I don't like using wolf meat. Oh man, they need five? What? Come on, man, that's ridiculous. Six. Need six spear attacks to get him. All right, so this is where we have to be careful because we are out in the open. But it's good to know they have a lot of animal fat on. I'm going to drop that. And... Where'd the meat go? Oh, it's going to fall on the ground, isn't it? I oh, know I should fit down here. Okay. And... I don't have enough space for the skin. On board Trenton. But, we're going to have some nice, juicy wolf steaks. So, wolves have nearly a 200 health. Awesome. Good to know. Alright, need a cooking surface. I'm going to have to make another clay bowl to satisfy that condition over there. So, we're going to go ahead and cook them with some uh, salt and with some garlic. We can probably need both of those here. Okay. So... Still bland. Need more salt. Flavorful. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and cook that up. Actually, let me see. It's 47. And I take some of this out. 47. 48. Interesting. 40. So 210 and 100. Is that what I'm getting that from here? Let's see. Pretty sure it's going to make it bland. 45. 47. 47. 48. Still 48. Oh, wait, hold on, because sometimes it doesn't update. Forty-seven, yeah, so it's just easier to do that. So two ten and ninety-five. Saves me some salt, especially since I'm gonna need a lot of salt real real soon now. You guys are gonna see what I need salt for. Okay, let me put that there. Let's go ahead and start putting materials up on this. 
here. Build it while my food cooks. Need some sticks. But yeah, that's metal smelting, and that's a little bit of making jars. In the next one, we're gonna be doing things with finally with leather and with um with actual food preservation. So as, oops, as of right now, that does it for today's episode. Again, any comments, any questions you might have, any guides you might be, or any tips you want to give to anybody else, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And once I read it, I will make sure that I put it in the next episode that I do. But as for today, that'll be it. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.